Big question still hangs over Jackson County's assessment. Did they really do a physical home inspection? Thanks for joining us tonight here at 6. I'm Sharon Check. And I'm Carolyn Long. Both Missouri state law and Jackson County code clarify it cannot be done by a drive-by. There's been a lot of debate about what computer programs could reveal about the time spent at each property. Tonight, our investigative reporter Angie Racona reveals another way to get that same information. Jackson County took photos, which they consider proof they went to your property. What's really interesting is the timestamp in the corner. A homeowner alerted us photos were posted on the Jackson County parcel viewer for her entire neighborhood. The photos are unremarkable. Quiet Independence neighborhood. The fine print at the bottom grabbed our attention. It becomes fascinating when you plot it out on a neighborhood map, which is exactly what we did. The timestamps reveal the second the photos were taken by Jackson County's assessment department on January 7th, 2021. When you do that, you discover the path someone took taking those photos from one house to the next, up south Powhatan Court and eventually over to Arrowhead Court. It's 52 inspections in 36 minutes. That's 41 seconds per property. How are you? We're with KCTV5. We attracted the attention of neighbors. They did 52 inspections in 36 minutes. Hmm. I think that's the same too. Probably because we spent more time here than the assessment department, which changed their tax value. What did they do? I mean, that's not enough time to do anything. 41 seconds. Jackson County works hard to give the impression they are diligent in the field. The assessment department provided KCTV5 what appears to be staged video of inspections. It shows a careful process involving pictures, tape measures, and documentation in the field. Here's our follow-up with the director herself. I wanted to ask you about physical inspections. Can you speak with us? There's a lot of people that want some answers. Gail McCann Beatty may not want to speak to KCTV5 investigates. Let me ask it this way. But she was recently questioned by legislators about those physical inspections. How did we get to the point of that one picture is enough? That is just typically the standard of what is done in an assessment process. But when we are up there and we are measuring that property, mm -hmm. we are seeing all of those things and then those things are noted in the system. So they don't go unnoticed, they just may not necessarily be in that particular photograph. And how do you measure them? What do you mean, how do we measure? You take well, you a- You said measure, so You take a measure? measuring tape and you hook it on one corner of the house and go to the other corner of the house. So it's not just the one picture, you're measuring the house. Correct. Do you remember anybody being out here with a tape measure and really no. taking a good look at your property? No. There's never been anybody here like that. State law requires physical inspections if the value increases to 15% or more. So what really happened in 41 seconds is important. About half of these duplexes required those physical inspections because they saw large increases. All over the place. It was part of our research as we walked the neighborhood, realizing the county whipped through here at an average speed of less than a minute per home. Take this home. It went from $225,000 to more than $363,000, a 61% increase but not the neighboring home. So this one goes up 61% and that's 27%. Well, how bizarre. Bizarre because they look identical and last year they had the same value. Now there's about an $80,000 difference. So what did an assessor see in those 41 seconds? By the way, in the time it took to tell you what we found, that would be about nine or 10 inspections in that neighborhood. Here's what we're working on next. A deep look at the law regarding physical inspections. We'll interview the representative who wrote it. He's no longer in office, but he has thoughts about what it means to do a proper physical inspection. Angie Bercono, KCTV5 News.